Well, here's the old pickup being ignored. It's in the main uh, part of this video. This isn't like the main, like, ah, uh, point of this video. Uh, this go door goes to the main point of this video. But the pickup is changing, I think. I don't know. It's definitely going to be moved soon. Uh, probably out to the barn. I don't know if you can see it, it's out there. Yeah, and all the stuff in the back has been covered up. Moved to the barn. Let it set in the barn for long. Until I get a like, good amount of money I can put into it. Yeah, I know, I didn't really want to put her off, but I'm going to wait until I get money. Uh, I think I'm changing directions. I'm not sure if I'm going to completely... I'm going to probably put new gaskets and stuff in that motor and use it for the time being. But I'd like to get some money together and buy a uh, 5.3 Vortec. Then put it in there. Just so it'd be cool. Yeah, well, that was a quick update on the pickup. But my main reason I'm updating is this. I'm focusing more on this. I actually have parts for this. Uh, I have... Some floor to fix, some holes, some rockers. If you're wondering why the top's off, I gotta do some fixing to it, and the truck sets inside. So, and yeah, yeah, it's funny. Uh, it's like 30 some degrees out, and the top's off. So yeah, but this is Iowa. We do get nice summers, so it'll hit a lot of the days without the top on it. Uh, I do want to get a cloth one to put on it. I would like to. Like, it'd be nice. Uh, so I could put on rainy days and have the main, mainly the top off. Uh, I still need to put door pins in this door. And I put door pins in the driver's door. Uh, yeah, when I put door pins, I had to move the whole door hinge up a lot get the door to even shut anymore but now she shuts good and opens good uh, doors need replaced both of them they have to have at least 20 some pounds of fucking bondo in them yeah this thing's been half assed restored before I'm going to try to do it right as you can see some bondo here they tried fixing that uh, I'm going to get probably try to get into one of these and just use this section here and fix it uh, yeah, as you guys can see here, get that out of the way. Uh, got a hole right there they tried fixing some of. So I'm just going to go ahead and use some of that floor over there to fix this. Probably cut her down. I don't know, take the roll bar out of it maybe. I don't know yet. Depends. I'm going to fix the holes in it. I'm going to fix a lot of the rust. Turn her into a nice pickup, you know. One nice blazer pick up but yeah let me get a step back y'all get a good look of it and the reason the hood's off is because I was taking the fender off and just haven't put the hood on it yet really not worried about it set inside so yeah uh anybody knows if they sell stell or sell these wheels uh, give me a link to them because well if you can find if you got any center caps for the front I'd surely appreciate it if anybody knows where you can get some out there uh, yeah probably gonna put that on the forum too see if anybody can get me a center spec I got the back ones and the back ones look good I saw a pickup with these exact same wheels on it the other day uh, I wanted to ask him if he put them on there and where he got them because I'd probably go buy me some center caps but my luck you have to buy a set of wheels to get center caps I don't want to have to do that uh, I did put a different console in uh, this is a ah oh crap out of that blazer over there oh these are out of the newer blazer I got it this is this was this is funny these are sockets I didn't put this in I got it like this uh, I'm gonna go ahead and make new stands the passenger one actually had the original mounts on it so I went and held it and welded a piece of metal there bolted it down so this seat will fold forwards if I have to uh, this is my new weather stripping for my 
top. I figured, what the hell, the new, the factory stuff's expensive, and this will fit along there on the top, just fine. So, keep majority of the water out. Uh, yeah, here's one of the deals for the seat belts. Uh, I'm gonna try to put seat belts in it. Well, I've got to put seat belts in it, but I'm gonna try to get some lap belts to put back in it, or get me some new seats with racing harnesses. Oh, and I also got a $85 Pioneer that had a Walmart set speakers put them in there it sounds pretty good uh yeah probably throw them fucking junk ass speakers away i don't want them anymore uh, yeah pioneer thing thought i put that all in the console oh and thanks guys uh from the forums too if anybody watches this uh thanks to whoever was able to get uh, the wiring uh, diagram. I never noticed this. The black doesn't come up over the fender on this side. Huh. It does on the other side. I never noticed that. Used to have trim on it. I don't know if I'm putting trim back on it. I doubt it. See? They go up over the wheels. Wells here. Which looks good. They taped it off well. I'll probably do that too when I redo them. I'm going to do this truck bed liner. Yeah. I don't know. I'm probably going to redo this piece here that they welded in. Get the actual piece of the floor welded that in. And I've got the rockers back there. But on the driver's side, I need to get this that comes up more and probably more on this too. Yeah. That door shut's really actually pretty good, so I'm not worrying about it. I'll worry about the pins when I put that another new door on there. And uh, for anybody who wanted to know, interested, I did realize, well, I've heard that these are the same blazer doors, are the same as Chevy door pickup doors, just with this cut off. Just with a cut here and here, because that door in there was one of these doors. This is the driver's side. I don't know if I'm going to use it yet. Probably. I'm probably going to end up using it. Probably going to get all new ones of these. But I'm going to buy the kits for all that stuff. If I redo the doors, I'll redo it good. Because I'll buy locks to put in it. Because I don't have locks for that. Yeah. So, uh, to get this, I'm going to have to... This really is not that bad of a door. Some spots, I'd bond to the bottom of it. And wait till they rust out. The rest of the way. And then I'd buy new doors. Because I think if I you bondo, you bondo right, you can make rust last longer than a lot. I don't know if I'm really going to drive this in the winter that much. Probably will. This thing does good in the mud. I was out playing with it this, earlier. Doesn't look like it because I wipe most of the mud off of it with my hands. But, yeah. It's out spinning around in this, oh, I don't know what it was. But, I don't know where it was. It was over. Oh, my brother's grandpa's. Well, me, yeah. My brother's grandpa's. I'm only half brother, you know. He's got a place out there, farm that's I don't know. There's like it's one spot that just tired mud. I we were out playing with it, and it, he was playing it with his uh, heavy pickup, and I was playing with blazer. So, yeah. Yeah. So this door's pretty much shot. If you look in there, you can see the back of my speaker, but you can't because there's not enough light. But you can. I can reach right up in there and touch my speaker. Uh, yeah, I'm probably going to go in and work on that other door. Probably go put this in the garage for the night. Uh, I'm wondering, was the antenna supposed to unplug from this? It looks like that's a plug, but I don't know. But I, uh, I'm also going to find another windshield wiper motor at another pickup that works. So I'm hoping my friend, his dad runs his young card. I'm hoping he gets one of these in, or pickup. Because I want to pick up with air conditioning. I hope he gets another one of these. If he gets another one of these, it's about the same year. One of these, like from like 68 to 72, any year in there, I'd buy it. Because, I and if it's not much worse than this, I'd use a lot of parts. If it's a little worse, a lot more rust. I could still use a lot of different stuff out of it. Uh, yeah, these speaker boxes. I don't know if they're going to be permanent. Because, I'm thinking of cutting plywood and putting plywood in there and putting the speakers in it. I want to get a subwoofer, like one subwoofer and just put it in there. 
just one like you know pioneer made a complete pioneer system cheap pioneer system but i don't know here's the old speakers that it had in it even my friend put these in new this used to be my friend's blazer well i put these speakers in because i've done pretty much every everything he that has been onto it since he had it i helped do so i knew it was done with it uh, i traded my car for this mainly you know my car may look better but my car only carries like i don't know 20 some pounds of oil pressure this tags or uh this uh oh crap buries the oil pressure needle and i'm going to hook up my oil pressure gauge when i get some line uh yeah i need to tune my carb uh this has edelbrock intake holly carb uh edelbrock heads hooker headers uh, it's got a new fan. I don't know who makes the fan, but it's a solid fan. This thing stays cool Especially in a day like today. I'm just kind of amazed But yeah, this has gone on 11 minutes. I Got my uh, fuel gauge to work and this thing burns fuel like crazy. So yeah It's not a cheap deal. It's squirrely uh, You know, I was asking uh, what lift this was these are 35s. I think this is a, I don't know, four inch lift. I don't know, I gotta measure these front blocks. Cause they look a lot like four inches and I gotta get front leaf springs. I'm getting rid of that blocked up front end cause it drives score layer and shit with that blocked front end. Uh, yeah, I don't like blocked front ends. I never have. If you're gonna lift it, lift it right. I mean, yeah, you can lift it with blocks. Blocks is all right. You just gotta do stuff with the steering. To help it not be as squirrely, uh, they haven't done it. They've got a steering stabilizer, but they need the uh, other bracket thing to make it right. So, yeah, I'd uh, probably, yeah, I'm gonna get the springs because they're only a couple bucks and a couple. Well, they're like 160 some. I can't remember. Tough countries or some shit. Uh, the bearings are all worn out in them anyways, and they're coming apart. Add, they're fucking shot. So yeah, I'd probably get a set of those. I mean, yeah, the expensive stuff's done. It's got Nitro 9000 Skyjacker shocks on it, I think. Yeah, oh, RS. Yeah. Wait, they're not Skyjacker shocks. They're not Skyjacker shocks. Thought they were. I think they're. I don't know what are they. Rancheros, I think. Yeah, Rancheros. Ranch Arrows 9000 RS. There you go, right down there. Uh, it's got a Skyjacker steering stabilizer kit, which is a high, it's a Hydro 7000. So, yeah. I'm gonna, it's nice. I mean, I like it. It's a nice old truck. Well, Blazer. I'm, I keep screwing that up. I always call it a truck because it's basically, it is a truck, if you think about it. Uh, yeah, I gotta get my that sissy hitch out from underneath it. That's none of the bolts are tight. And put my good hitch. It's in the garage. Yeah. Wish it was summer. Fucking didn't. Wouldn't have to go to school. Back to work. Make some money to fund these projects. But the only sad thing is when you work. Um, when I well, when I work, I come home. I don't know. Eight o'clock at night. Fucking tired. And I, I just don't go out here and work. I only come out here on the weekends and work in the summer when I'm working. So, yeah. Four-wheel drive does work. I did put it in four-wheel drive locked hubs just to take it around in the field, you know. Yeah, on a repainter, I'm going to buy a new one of these. I don't know. I like this grill style. I think I'd probably keep it. Just buy another grill. It's not broke, which is amazing. Paint or salt or something. I don't know. Thought about getting uh, new turn signal lights. I'll get those. Complete set. White ones. Clear. Well, clear lenses. Cat. Cat. That cat. Uh, had to get new ones of them. Yeah, this Cadillac mirror that I had. I just throw it on there because I like mirrors. They don't look out. Review mirror. And yeah, having the side mirrors nice. I wish the thermometer worked. That'd be kick ass. I'd put it on the other door. But I'm probably gonna. I don't know. I got plans. I gotta fix the top. I'll show you here real quick. I gotta get a back window for it. The the, the back part, the doors in the garage, because 
or in the shop because I gotta fix it. Yeah, I'm gonna have to quit because it's 15 minutes. I'm going over my time limit. So, yeah, as you guys can see, it's cracked there. And so, I could talk all day about this, but oh, talk to you later. Give you another update soon.